Today, the revolver is almost as much a symbol of American law enforcement as the familiar star or badge. Through the years, it has grown to be still another common bond between peace officers of many different jurisdictions. There is a revolver to suit almost any taste. Some officers like a plain model with simple holster to match, such as those issued as regular equipment to special agents of the FBI. Others may prefer an ornate, nickel-plated gun, such as this automatic pistol, with intricate engravings and a tooled leather holster to match. Take your pick, but remember one thing. Plain or fancy, a revolver is no mere ornament or decoration. It's a most important and vital piece of your official equipment. Learn to use it safely and effectively. Your own life or that of someone else may depend on how well you handle it. Always remember that a loaded revolver is no respecter of persons. It will kill anyone at whom it is pointed, whether that person is the holder of the weapon, the criminal, or an innocent bystander. Never point your revolver at anyone unless you are justified and are ready and willing to kill that person. In combat training, emphasis must be given to shooting double action at close range, for this most nearly duplicates the situation that may lie just around the corner for any officer on duty. With gun in shoulder holster, this criminal was no match for well-trained officers drawing and shooting double action from hip level. Remember, this is the fastest method of firing. It is accurate and effective up to 10 yards. When fired double action from the hip, the revolver is almost lightning fast. The weapon is cocked and fired in one continuous motion of the trigger finger on the trigger. With practice, both speed and accuracy will be improved. Note the grouping of shots on these targets. They were fired at seven yards from the first position on the FBI practical pistol course. However, without good form, speed and accuracy will be no better than hit or miss. Above all, learn good form and practice it religiously. Drawing and shooting from the hip was developed on the western frontier, where speed with a gun often meant survival. Western style, shooting with single action revolver was inaccurate compared to modern hip level shooting. Today's draw and shooting from the hip is smooth and continuous, with not a bit of waste motion, and the revolver in front of the shooter is in position to ensure a greater degree of accuracy. A quick draw holster is a necessity. As the shooter goes to a crouch, the holster tips forward, allowing the gun to slide out easily and in line with the target. By facilitating the draw, this holster contributes to safety, speed, and accuracy. Whenever gunplay is anticipated, the coat is unbuttoned. The shooter steps to his left and forward as he reaches for his weapon. Body movement swings the coat aside and away from the gun. As the left foot steps forward, the right shoulder drops. A firm grip is taken on the gun and it is then dragged from the holster and pointed toward the target. In this on-target position, the forearm is rigid and almost parallel to the ground. Your grip is of utmost importance in double action shooting. Since the trigger pull is about three times that of firing single action, the grip must be tight. By keeping the trigger finger outside the trigger guard, until the gun has cleared the holster, danger of accidental discharge is minimized. Such a juggling act can be dangerous. It wastes vital time that may mean the difference between life and death. The shooter must be prepared to take a proper grip at the instant he first puts his hand on the weapon.
Control of the trigger is another essential. Insert the trigger finger to the first joint or even further. Keep the wrist stiff and the grip tight. Pull the trigger steadily and evenly. Only the trigger finger is moved. Use the other finger to maintain a tight grip on the weapon. Pulling the trigger unevenly or jerking it and breaking the wrist are two faults of double action firing that result in inaccurate shooting. These apparently minor faults have cost many officers their lives. When the shooter is ready to fire, he is in a crouch with his weight equally distributed on both feet. He is balanced like an athlete and can move easily in any direction. In this position, he presents a smaller target for return fire. His head and shoulders are back for better balance and vision. The shooter keeps his direct vision on the target. With his outer vision, he sees his weapon and lines it up with the target. The left hand is held near the revolver, for it must be readily available to take the weapon should the shooter be hit in the right hand or arm. Firing then can be continued with the left hand without changing position of the body. This student illustrates the rule that when the weapon is returned to its holster, the other hand must not assist in any way. Use only the shooting hand. Never cover the opposite hand when holstering your revolver. Make certain you learn how to holster your gun properly, using only the shooting hand. 